Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, the best third size fourth tier Pokemon Go battler in the world. And today we are talking Holiday Cup, which is great because I am tired of Ultra League already. <laughs> so let's go over the typings. And with the typings, I'm going to do like a team building 101 of how I kind of go through it. And then we're going to look at the top 20 ranked on PvP Poke. And then I'm going to give you seven team ideas, timestamps below. Keep forgetting to say this. I appreciate it if you hit that like button. I appreciate it if you, or thumbs up button. I appreciate it if you comment on the video because it'll help the algorithm and if you're new to this channel i appreciate if you hit the subscribe button uh but the holiday cup is normal grass electric ice flying and ghost and so what i normally do is i go through each typing looking at what is it's like what is it weak against what is it strong against uh and that will give me an idea of how it will perform in this meta so i go to normal and normal is weak to fighting look across there's no fighters allowed that being said like the only fighters you're really going to see is other normals like you're going to see uh, uh, Obstagoon, you're going to see Vigoros, so you're going to be doing super effective against each other anyways. So that's okay. And then you resist Ghost, so that's good. So you you nullify the Ghost over there, but you also can't throw anything at the Ghost uh, because Normal's just is there. So you're kind of trading off there. Then I go to Grass, I'm like, ooh, Grass is going to have a rough time because it's weak to Ice, it's weak to Flying. Like, it'll do well again. It doesn't do, like, it uh, resists Electric, but it doesn't have, like, an amazing matchup against Electric overall. Uh, so... Grass, I don't think we're going to see a ton of, but I did build one with a Venusaur on my team. And then I go down the board, I go Ice. Ice is good against Flying. Ice is good against Grass. It, uh, like it's, There's no pure Fire on here. There's no pure Fighter on here, right? So Ice, I expect to see a lot of in this meta. Uh, and that's just basically how I team built. And then what I do is I go to PV Poke. PV Poke, I just do, I look through top 20 to 40 just to get an idea of like what the main meta is going to be. Um, and this kind of showed me that this is going to be a really interesting team building exercise because you really have a lot of Pokemon on here that just kind of like all counteract each other, right? So you have your, let's just start with your Ice because there's a few of them. There's Cast Form, there's Ninetales, there's Frost Slash, there's Sand Slash. Those are your main Ice Pokemon that will deal with a lot. Everything from Altaria to um, Trevenant to Mandibuzz, like everything there, there plus... Um, Again, grass if it's on there, but I don't see a ton of grass on here as expected. Uh, electric, they're Petrisu, which I don't even have one in my deck, so it'd be nice to get one eventually. Uh, and Magnazone, as Mirror Shot, because Magnazone would be a really, really s smart pick because the Mirror Shots will do well against the Ice and the Wild Charge will do well against the Flyers outside of Altaria because Altaria will only take uh, neutral because it is half Dragon. Uh, Altaria is kind of like the Altaria and Skarmory are the Dutch, well, there's Mandibuzz is also a Flyer. So there's the three flyers there. Uh, all have their own play, right? Altaria is just like super, super bulky, but you're gonna have to watch out for all the ice. Uh, Sand Slash is, or Skarmory, sorry, Skarmory is uh, also uh, has its own weaknesses with fire, but it will take neutral to ice because it is half steel. And then Mandibuzz obviously will take super effect from there, um, but there are some ghosts in there in this meta, right? So having the Mandibuzz, like Trevenant, so having the Mandibuzz. Uh, you can either run it with the uh, Air Slash or the Snarl. Snarl is a recommended move here set here. A couple normals, Wigglytuff, Diggersby. Uh, Wigglytuff, like, you could just do, like, because there's nothing that, like, hard walls, right? There's no really steals in here. Like, Marowax on here, Talflame. Like, Fire is going to be your main uh, answer to this. Oh, I guess there is Magnazone as a steal as well. But outside of that, like, if you want to run, like, a Wigglytuff, just, like, spam these Ices and... Uh, other Pokemon like it it's not a terrible strategy I I don't like it but it does work a couple waters dugong and lantern uh, lantern lantern I like because it's have it's got the electric and the hydro pump which is a nice sort of nuke for even in neutral matchups um, and then yeah down the board Trevenant figure out that's gonna be obviously a great safe swap in this league uh, and then Sansa I already talked about right, so let's go over team comps um, so I got seven team ideas I tried to make different Pokemon for each one uh, but basically how I do the team comps is I start with the Pokemon that I want to build around and then I try to cover its weaknesses. And then if I can get like a safe swap, I'll do that. Or I'll just try and balance it with like a Pokemon that has wide coverage. So I start with Skarmory because uh, Skarmory is in my opinion, one of the best Pokemon in Great League in any meta. So start with Skarmory, you know, it has your normal matchups. You see a lot of circles there, but I'm not worried about them because even in a lot of these like neutral matchups that you lose, you don't lose that hard. Um, so I'm not ter I'm not like Mag Amanda Buzz and stuff like that. I'm not terrible there. You're hard punished by a few, right? Your Graveler, 
because it's half rock, but it's electric. Lantern's electric, magnetism, sunfist. So all your electric is your main. So you need something to deal with those. So the hardest counter to that is a Diggersby. So Diggersby is just going to hard punish that all the way down the board. So now I needed a third to sort of balance it out. And Lantern, Lantern has a nice, like I mentioned, like the spark with the Thunderbolts and Hydro Pump are just like a nice coverage, right? You have, you cover your, your, all your waters and you cover your flyers and the Hydro Pump will do well if you can land it on almost anything else. So I think this will be a pretty good team. I may try this team first and with my team. Like it's, I never played the Holiday Cup before because I think it always ran during Messily Classic and I much prefer that. But I probably will start with this team and then I always start with the team and then if it's working great, I'll showcase it. If it's not working, I will modify it a bit and then showcase it. So that's gonna how I'm gonna do it. Um, and now let's get on to team number two. So team number two, we have Graveler, Altaria, Trevenant. And built this one on Gra Graveler because it was a top ranked Pokemon. I've used Graveler before. Again, it's really tricky, right? You have the Volt Switches, which you can do great against the Waters and the Flyers. And you have the Rock, which you can do well against the Ice, which is why it's gonna be a top Pokemon, right? A couple, like I mentioned in the previous one, Diggersby is gonna cause the problems, Trevenant as well and Stunfist down the board because it's going to be able to know the ground type move there. Um, so I paired it in the back end. Well, I, I kind of paired it with two. I, I actually built it around Altaria first because Altaria is just, uh, and it's, it's weak to like fighting. So like if you get like a, like the Vigoroth has a winning matchup in there too, right? So I paired it with Altaria as a flyer to counter those. And then I needed like a safe swap and Trevenant is kind of it. And Altaria and Trevenant are weak to ice, both weak to ice, right? But Trevenant with uh, energy advantage is pretty tough to deal with. So even in bad matchups, you can probably grab a shield if you get a little bit of head on energy. So that's why I think this team works out, even though you have the double weakness to ice in the back. So the third team is, oh, I'm missing one here. I'm missing Talonflame. Talonflame, Obstagoon, Stunfisk. Uh, so I want like, okay, there are some things that we to, to counter user, uh, and there's no charm in here realistically outside of A9, which you could run charm on A9. Um, I guess Wiggly stuff is in here too. Uh, but look at Obstacle down the board has a lot of just like strong matchups, right? Because you could throw uh, the counters and are great against the ice, and then you have that coverage night slash for coverage against like your Trevenant and stuff like that. So great down the board. Uh, Paired it with a Talonflame to, to, again, you're going to be weak to Charm, right? So Talonflame is probably going to, one of the stronger answers to that. Plus you can ramp up Talonflame, uh, good against Charm. Plus you can ramp up against Ice and stuff like that too. So that's nice. And it only takes neutral because you're half flying. Um, and then I needed some sort of like all-encompassing safe swap. And Stunfisk kind of fit the bill because, it's, again, it's one of those Pokemon that you can just like get ahead on energy. And it spams fast. And I just did a video last week two weeks ago last week on this on stunfisk and it's, a, it's really a strong pokemon uh, again you have the ground for like graveler and then you have the electric for your flyers and, and water right so i think stunfisk is me a nice play it is weak to ice so just keep that in mind uh when you are running it the next one i'm gonna go dugong double week in the back so i want to build around frostlass and frostlass is one of those where it's like it was an amazing safe swap. Um, th this team can almost be considered the all safe swap team, quite honestly. Because I was like, Frostlass is a pretty good safe swap. And then I throw it in. And then it's like, okay, it's got a lot of like weaknesses here. And I'm like, okay, I need something to cover those weaknesses. Vigoroth down the board covered a lot of those. Um, but not all of them. And then I needed something for like Trevenant and stuff like that. So I threw in the Dugong. And I'm like, okay, this is like an ABB style team where you're double weak to counter user in the back, right? So you want to draw it out with... Vigoroth realistically as your safe swap because it has a lot of good matchups across the board and then punish with um, Frostlass and then Dugong will sweep in the back. Uh, it does have some holes like uh, Marowak across the board, Frostlass across the board, but it's one of those where it's like you can flip matchups with a couple energy advantage right there. So I'm not too worried about those, but yeah, so ABB style team um, with a few ice in there that also have like other like Dugong's half water, so you take neutral from the fire, so you're not getting just like mauled by fire in case you see it. And then we have, let's see, Lapras, Glizcor, 
and Marowak. So again, I wanted to build around Marowak because anything that can deal with the ice and uh, wall charmers is pretty good in my books. So have that there. It has some weaknesses, obviously. There could be being the main one as a ground type Pokemon there. So I paired it with Lapras because Lapras is kind of like a nice safe swap all around, which has your everything from Altaria to the Diggersby um, and just like a lot of good matchups across the board there. Trevenant, Mandibuzz with it. And then I need like a, a third Pokemon and I'm like, I guess I can go Glizcore. Like there is a weakness as you can see down there with Lapras because it is Glizcore is weak to ice, but I'm like, eh, Glizcore is weak to ice, but you have Lapras and Marowak that can kind of deal with that. Lap I mean, Lapras can throw Surf on the Marowak, so it's not a great matchup, but you can kind of work around that. And Glizcore has got some like nice matchups. Like it needed for the Lantern matchup there specifically to cover that one. It beats the Graveler as well. So a couple, couple um, I don't even know if I has a, have a Glizcore quite honestly, but it was one that kind of covered your all your weaknesses in there. And then we have, I'm going to start reusing some Pokemon here, as you're going to see, because it's another ABB style team with Sableye, Magnezone, Vigoroth. Same sort of thing. I built it around Sableye because I was like, hey, I got an XL Sableye. I want to use it. Um, tough on the top end, a lot of good matchups on the bottom end. And then I was like, okay, uh, if you're going to be weak on the front to all that stuff, I need something to cover. Vigoroth, again, just has so many good matchups, especially as a safe swap. And then I'm like, Let's just do, I want to use like Magnezone. Let's just use an ABB style draw out, um, draw it out and then have the Magnezone run wild in the back. And this like having the mirror shot wild charge is going to be like deadly for the nukes, right? So um, I'm excited, L lots of X's on that board right there. So I'm excited to see if this one actually holds up as well as it looks on the, on the screen there. And the last one we're we're reusing Graveler, because uh, again, it's just a beast and kind of a spicy one, but it's Zangoose Venusaur Graveler. So I needed, I was like, I wanted to try Zangoose because I've used it before and it's a glass cannon. I may use Zangoose as you see it first there in the uh, analysis, but I may use it as a safe swap because Zangoose is one of those that like, if you safe swap in and you get like an energy advantage, you can land some nukes and force shields and it's super glassy. So I needed something that has just like uh, super wide coverage overall, which is Graveler, which is why you're seeing it twice. And then I needed something to cover like your diggers being stuff like that. I'm like, and I'm like, Venusaur does have some play. As you can see, like Skarmory, Frostlass, Sandslash, Marowak, Trevenant, Abomaso, you just get like walled hard. Um, so there is like some weaknesses, as you can see, like, although the, I, I've played that Trevenant Venusaur matchup before. And it only takes two Frenzy Plants, I think it was from a Shadow, two Frenzy Plants to take out the Trevenant. So you don't even need to worry about going Sludge. Like, you just go two Frenzies in a row. Uh, so I'm not super, super, like, concerned there. It's more the Ice. But again, against the Ice, you can throw a Sludge, potentially. Um, so yeah. So those... Uh, no, I, I just go Frenzy, actually. Does Ice... Is Ice weak or is... Yeah, I forget if Ice is weak to Sludge. Um... But those are the teams, so I am excited to try. I'm going to try out one of them. I think the first one I'll try out tonight, um, and then if that works, I will preview it tomorrow for you guys. And then, yeah, I'm going to run a bunch of teams. It is Community Day this weekend. Like I'll have a bunch done Monday through Friday for next week in Holiday Cup, uh, anyway, so you guys can test them out. But yeah, it's Community Day weekend, so I don't. I'll I'll try and do my battles anyways, but gotta try and grab a few more. Gibble so I can complete my uh, dragon dragon medal there. So that is it. Uh, let me know if you have any other um, teams that you're going to run in the comments below. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next one.